Hello and back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna be using Spreadshock add-on to do a little bit of improvisation, and I will be also using Blender Sculpt um, Sculpt tools to basically uh, play around with a like a plane and kind of turn it into something like this. So that's a uh, just basically like sculpting, but I will be using some kind of uh, semi-procedural way to, to create this kind of uh, surface mesh. So let's get started from an empty scene. I'm gonna delete everything and I'm gonna save this as improv sculpt. And let's see. Um, we go to the compositing and I have spread chalk here. Create a new node. And let's see. Let's create a plane. And B mesh. Vertices and polygon. And we're gonna center it. And we can see that's the default. We're gonna create more resolutions. 40 by 40, so that's a uh, quite high res and we can definitely work from there so we're gonna save this file save as so with this guy we actually don't need to keep this history we can turn off the updates so it's not it's not gonna be updated anymore if we change the resolutions okay so this guy's uh, finished and then we're gonna use uh, vertex masking Vertex Sculpt Masking, that's uh, the name of the node. And we're gonna grab this object. And we're gonna sculpt uh, these objects now uh, using Blender Sculpting, but we're gonna use Sphere Chalk to randomly kind of uh, mask the area of the face or the vertices. I'm gonna give you an example using random vector first or random number instead of vector and this is gonna be um, integer or float float is more correct but try let's see what happened if we plug in this uh, integer number between 0 and 10 let's jump into sculpt mode and you can see you can see already what's going on um, so sphere chalk is doing this uh, kind of a random number generating for uh, for the masking and we can start sculpting and this is gonna be um, wherever it's like dark color it will be masked away and then whatever is uh, white or lighter color will be for the mask okay so that's a uh, that's pretty cool and let's look at the tool so that's the default sculpting uh, which is the sculpt draw um, you can increase or decrease the strength. It will be nicer if you have a, like a Wacom tablet or any kind of graphic tablet and using stylus to do this. Um, auto smooth. You can use hold shift and then just draw to kind of smooth it out. But so random is a little bit strange. So we, we're not gonna be using random. Switch to float, float and random. Um, slightly more interesting, but still very very random. Maybe I even need to increase the number. So we, we're gonna get, uh, with the random number plug into this sculpt mask, we're gonna have like a noise basically. Like, so uh, noise kind of okay, if you like, because this is kind of like improv anyway. You can be like pretty random about it. But if you want to have like a proper noise, don't use random, use, um, procedural vector for example vector noise and for this guy the vertice is really coming from the um, this guy over here so we're gonna source the original mesh just get this guy and the vertice goes into the vector noise and vector noise output scalar plug into the this sculpt mask and also use vector math for more controlled and just use multiply scalar so you can control the masking you will you can see more clearly if you go to the sculpt mode 
you see there's uh, some kind of a gray scale over the surface and you can control that in real time so that's a 3d I think that's a kind of 3d procedural noise um, well 3d or 2d um, probably at the moment we are actually kind of doing it in 2d because it is just like a surface I don't know if I switch to vector it's gonna be 3d but uh, I guess that doesn't doesn't really matter but you can try it and try all kind of different noise and then start sculpting away gonna smooth it out holding shift and then just paint on it now we are kind of we get back like more like a smooth surface and then we can kind of sculpting so what's really cool uh, with blender currently we have like a 40 by 40 vertices of this plane right I'm gonna save this uh, what's really cool is that you can switch on the dynamic topology dynamic topology and then now this surface is going to be changing um, changing the number of vertices um, while you're sculpting so I think more detail <coughs> or less detail will be added as you continue sculpting let me go lower value so now I'm kind of giving it more detail into this surface so this is really cool um, way to just uh, create a lots and lots of details of our surface <clears throat> I'm not <clears throat> I'm not so much of a sculptor but yeah this thing is very very interesting and really really powerful I think just you can go and keep adding details and um, I think the more efficient way is to also have <clears throat> um, if you have like so much details you turn it into normal map and displacement map so, and maybe use smoothing as well for this area I don't know maybe push it down but I don't know maybe I could still change the noise probably at this stage we need to update this mask somehow I don't see any of the masking anymore maybe it uh, doesn't quite work but at this at this point really um, we get all kind of this uh, some kind of random looking mountain crater so if we are done with it we have something like this and if you like you can kind of flatten it um, just use S and Z and then zero it out and then now we have this flat surface probably we want to use a sculpt again and then just we don't want to change the number of vertices it's gonna delete that back to sculpt let's get rid of the dynamic topology now we are back with this and then you see the masking is still the masking is still working from Sphere Chop, I believe. Tidy this up a little bit. I'm gonna go to edit mode S Z and zero it out and put it down back to sculpt mode and we'll kind of smooth it out holding shift and then smooth it so we actually have 
some kind of uh, grayscale of this. Um, I think this is from Scratch of the the noise. Flatten it in Z, and now back to object mode. Now we are kind of done with this. I'm gonna duplicate this guy, select this, select this, and then join as shapes. It's gonna be shape keys, and now we can use this kind of a uh, shape keys blend shape. Um, interestingly, the the vertices seems to be going weird. That's very interesting. I don't know why, but it shouldn't happen. Maybe the number of vertices have changed. Yeah, that's weird. Let me try doing it again. So this guy, I'm gonna duplicate it. And perhaps I'm gonna smooth it a couple of times. Apply. Go to edit mode. S, Z, zero it out. Duplicate. Join as shapes. Test it again. It's a bit better. Definitely better. You can go higher, I think. And I think we can go higher with this value. Uh, but anyhow, we can always go back to this guy while we are in the in the basis. We can perhaps smooth it out. Sculpt mode and turn off dynamic topology that's why it should be off smooth this guy further back to object mode this place should be good uh, minimum maximum okay increase the maximum now we can go further. It's kind of a weird way. I, I, I guess I call it this more like a um, semi-procedural way of sculpting. It's very, very, uh, it's very, very dynamic. It's not like probably not something that you want to do normally, but still pretty interesting. And sculpting should be like this. Um, in CG, normally it's. Uh, I found it sometimes can be a little bit limiting but if you if you're doing it this way you can kind of uh, you start with a surface and then you kind of displace it and then you kind of blend blend shape or shape keys and then once you shape keys you can now um, using remesh modifier and then and then continue sculpting and you can get a very very interesting apply Oh, it doesn't allow me. Modifier cannot be applied to a mesh with shape keys. That's very, very interesting. That's that's actually a very interesting uh, example because it says, okay, you, you cannot apply remesh modifier on a object with shape keys, but we know that with um, spread chalk, you can use objects in. Turn on pause, get selection get this guy and use B mesh just gonna output it as a real object so now you have this real objects and you can delete that so now you can continue sculpting with this guy so so let's uh, tidy this up. So um, we start with this 
flat planes and then we kind of sculpt it we use a remesh somewhere and you can continue with this guy like continue sculpting but uh i think this is pretty much it i guess you get the idea this is kind of like a semi-procedural dynamic sculpting using blender sculpt and spread chalk add-on so maybe you i don't know it's uh if you are doing like a landscape you can probably do it this way we don't need this guy delete and just gonna save this so there you go that's um our landscape there created from a simple kind of a procedural technique here and there um yeah that's pretty much it i guess um hopefully this is useful if you want to do this kind of uh, sculpting maybe the next thing to to learn is to create some kind of displacement map and a normal map to have like more efficient surface um, but yeah hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye